You know, getting a medical breakthrough from a lab into the hands of a patient can take decades and literally billions of dollars. It's a huge problem. But what if there's a different way to do it? Today, we're going to dive into 80 Text, a company with a seriously bold ambition to speed that whole process up. Let's take a look at how their model is supposed to work. So this right here, this is a Dext's mission statement. And those three words, discover, develop, and deploy, they tell the entire story. See, lots of companies are pretty good at one of those, maybe even two. But mastering all three, that is the biggest challenge in medicine. It's one thing to have a brilliant idea, right? But it's a whole other ballgame to actually execute it and get it to the people who need it. So the big question is, how does a Dext plan to pull this off? Well, the answer isn't what you might think. It's not some massive centralized research lab. Instead, their entire strategy, their whole game, is built around a different idea, that the next huge breakthrough could come from anywhere. And they've designed a business model specifically to find it and then to grow it. And that entire corporate strategy, it really boils down to this powerful three-step playbook. This is their plan for turning those promising ideas into real-world health solutions. Okay, so first up, Acquire. Aditex is constantly scouting for these smaller, really innovative companies that have ideas that can scale up. Then comes leverage. They take that company they just bought and plug it into what they call their business acceleration platform. You can think of it like a launch pad for startups. It gives them the money, the help with regulations, and the network they need to grow and grow fast. And finally, monetize. Now this part is absolutely crucial. By selling the technology or licensing it out, or even taking that company public, they generate the cash to go out and fund the next acquisition. It's designed to be this self-fueling engine for innovation. All right, so that's the theory. That's the blueprint for the engine. But how does it actually perform on the road? Let's take a look at the portfolio of companies they're putting through this exact process as we speak. And this is where you start to see the real power of this model. It's just so flexible. Instead of betting the entire farm on a single drug for a single disease, a Ditext can build this really diverse portfolio. This spreads out their risk, and more importantly, it lets them tackle completely different health problems all at the same time. And this table right here really shows that model in action. I mean, just look at the sheer breadth of what they're going after. You've got these huge, complex challenges like autoimmunity with adamine, all the way over to the absolutely critical field of early cancer detection with Pure Santa. They're also in complex neurological diagnostics, and they're not stopping there. Their planned acquisition of EvoFem shows they're ready to jump into entirely new areas, like reproductive health. Every single one of these was an idea that started outside their walls and is now plugged into their system. So let's zoom out for a second. When you put the business model together with this diverse portfolio, what does it all mean? What's the big idea that Aditext is really betting on for the future of medicine? Well, it all comes back to this core playbook, acquire, accelerate, advance. Instead of spending billions trying to invent every single thing in-house, Tech's model is to go out, find the most promising ideas elsewhere, and then supercharge them. So in a way, they're not just trying to build one single product. They're trying to build an engine for innovation itself. And that really leaves us with a provocative thought, doesn't it? In a world that is so desperate for faster medical breakthroughs, is this the future? A model that acts more like a launch pad for great ideas instead of a closed-off research lab? Edittext is betting that it is. And you know what? The answer could change how we all think about innovation for years to come.